All right. Whoa, I'm right on. Uh, I'm on air. Hi. Hello, everybody. This is University Star League, and uh, I am Dream Duck. And by my side, I have the very sexy Soup Duck. Yes, the, the that's ma- me. The man, the myth, the legend. Uh, Soup Duck is, the, is our communications officer. So I'm actually communicating right now. You're communicating right now. That's absolutely on Twitter. Wonderful. You're twittering. This is nice. He, he's he's a very versatile man. He can sit here. He can drink glug um, and look concentrated at the same time. Yes, it's and amazing. Tweet. Why and tweet. Yes, uh, not, not a small feat. To tweet. Exactly. Tweeting. Uh, what we're going to do tonight is basically we're going to chill out. We have a, had a whole bunch of uh, nice uh, show events, uh, and uh, we're having our last one for this season, so to speak, and before um, uh, before the end of the year. Uh, at the s- no, wait, it's not the last one. No, I'm, I'm saying the same. No, oh, never mind. There's a, the next show event is at the seventh, uh, and it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be absolutely cool at the School of Chemistry. Well, yes, their, chemistry. Uh, yeah. Their uh, pub locality is at KTH, and uh, we're gonna have some really cool players. Um, Madelisk is going to play, Quantic Madde, and Prop Dash. So we have two uh, people actually signed to professional teams that are going to duke it out against each other. So Quantic versus Team Property, that's going to be nice. And uh, also we're going to have Proxy Panda meeting Fubar, that's going to be a PVZ as well. And uh, Madelisk, of course, playing Zerg, and Prop Dash playing Terran. So that's going to be two epic, epic matches. And actually, we're going to get to meet Proxy Panda a little later on tonight. He's going to cast a few games with me, uh, just for the sake of it, because it's cool, and we're chilling, and we have a nice time in Sofa. But before that, we're going to have a short recap of what's happened in the tournament so far. Uh, we're just going to go uh, through a bunch of things for the sake of it. So if you're watching, you're going to get a bunch of random fi- uh, facts on the tournament. Um, We're doing this from home because we decided it's time to chill out. We started the tournament. Our first round uh, has finished. And uh, we're uh, we're right now, well, throwing ourselves into round two. Round two started, right? It started. We've had maybe four or five games reported so far. All right. And uh, if you want to take a look at the actual games, you go to uniesl.se slash qualifiers, right? And you can see which games are played. And uh, also when we pause this... uh, stream a little to before we go into the matches you will see all of the groups flash by and you'll see who won each group and so forth if you're interested in that otherwise yes just go to the web page it's the easy easy version of it but we're going to go through a bunch of random facts uh, on the tournament uh, we had 64 players yes. from the beginning not very random actually it's a no. very nice uh, sum to organize we were very happy practice. to have 64 we were just below 64 when um, when the time when our what, what's it, what, what's it called our Last De- time, deadline, deadline for, to sign up. Exactly, when the deadline for signing up ended. Uh, and we decided to prolong it just a few hours so we could see if we could get up to 64. And we got up to 64, which is nice because it's perfect for our, uh, our tournament format. It is wonderful. Um, and these have been th- playing against each other in GSL style, uh, GSL style groups, right? So uh, there's been four players in each group and... Uh, Two players playing each other, so two actual best of threes. Yes, and then the winners of these two matches get to play each other. The losers play each other, and uh, one is the loser of the losers is kicked out. The winner of the winner qualifies for the next round, and then the r- remaining two players face off for to, the to see spot. who picks the gets the second spot to qualify. Exactly, which is a cool tournament uh, and a cool format because we, there's a lot of games. Uh, we decided to do this because it's nicer to, you know, even if you jump into a tournament and you're in Bronze League and you feel like... At feel least like, you get to play two matches. Yes, exactly. At least you get to play a lot of matches, yes. uh, which is nice. So there's a lot of games played. And, uh, well, we have a lot of results from these. Uh, do we have another, uh, some, some random stats here? How many uh, different races? Oh, we have that here. Uh, there are three different races, actually. Three different <laughs> oh, there's three different races. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're yes, welcome. thank you. Uh, there's three different races, but there's a different amount of oh, players yes. playing each That's race. That's correct. Yes, and you know how many, don't you? Uh, I do, actually, but oh. not uh, on the top of my head, so I'll just communicate while... Finding facts here. Yes. The least popular race in our tournament, we think, is uh, Protoss. Oh. Um, with 13 players so far. Uh, Tyron has 14 players. So it's not far from. But the most popular, of course, is Zerg. Yeah. There are 
at least 23 Zerg players. There's one group actually with only Zerg players. Yeah, I saw that. The, the group of deaf. And our, <laughs> and our camera girl is like, yay, Zerg! <laughs> Woohoo! And our observer is like, yay, Zerg! These uh, statistics don't ab add up to 64, though, as you no. might have noticed if you are good at counting stuff in your head. And cared about that. While or we announced if the you numbers. wrote down these numbers and added them up. Uh, but uh, <laughs> the there are 13 players that actually haven't yet played a game. Mm. So we don't know what race they prefer to, yeah. to play. Uh, which is, of course, always a little, little boring. Uh, yes. with the, a bunch this of usually happens, of course, yeah. uh, in these kind of online tournaments which we are at this stage of the tournament uh, yes. it's only played online so seven of our games were decided uh, by walkover because both players couldn't find the time to play the matches against each other exactly but there was one game left over with two people that we couldn't find yeah most of these walkovers the player who lost actually managed to tell the other player, oh, I'm sorry, I can't play, yeah. uh, I have other, other stuff to do, or something like that. Uh, yeah. One game, the, um, the one of the players didn't show up, so we had to award a walkover to the other player. Yeah. And then there's one, the most spectacular match of round one, where none of the two players showed up. And why was what it do you do? What, 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 why who, was who, it spectacular? Who will win? Yeah, who will win? And we took an we took an interesting turn to that. Uh, turn to this. We actually felt like a you know, scientific term. A sci very scientific turn. Uh, this is, uh, of course, the university star league. Exactly. So we had to kind of stress that university part of it. Exactly. So uh, we actually recorded a short movie for this. Which of we're us going to sitting in a sofa. Yes, of yeah, us sitting yeah. in a sofa, which is which we're very good at. Actually, we do that do that quite a lot of time. I'm not you don't very see good us. at Starcraft, but. Sitting in sofas is kind of my A game. Yes, yes, sitting in sofa and talking about statistics. Or StarCraft. Or yeah. StarCraft. Yeah. yeah, one of those. Fair I can enough. do that. Well, we're going to show you a short movie uh, to see how we actually solve that situation. Hi, this is DreamDuck for University Star League. And uh, as of right now, we're going to conclude the first, gr uh, first week of matches. And we have uh, how many reported? 31 out of 32 matches have been reported. Exactly, which means that 31 out of 32 matches have a winner with either walkover or two players actually playing the game. The 32nd match isn't reported because we haven't gotten a hold of either one of the two players. So we need to randomly select the winner for that. And because we feel like we want to be a serious organization, we're going to select this as serious as we can using... Uh, the best randomizer I know, which is random.org. It's a good, nice web page. It talks about true randomness. And they say, what is this fuss about true randomness? And uh, as many of you know, since we're studying at, um, at universities and so forth, perhaps you have wondered how predictable machines like computers can generate randomness. In reality, most random numbers used in computer programs are pseudo-random, which means they are generated in a predictable fashion using a mathematical formula. This is fine for many purposes, but it may not be random in the way you expect if you're used to dice rolls and lottery drawings. Random.org offers true random numbers to anyone on the internet. The randomness comes from atmospheric noise. So the point is they take atmospheric noise and out of that they generate a number that's a lot more random than a randomly generated uh, computer number taken from the timer and so forth is the way they use. Uh, and to make it really random, we're going to make it a best of three. Uh, so we're going to generate three numbers and see which of these two players are favored um, to generate, simulate the best of three game. Yes. Basically. And uh, the first player is actually has a name which is composed of pseudo-random uh, letters. G, T, D, C, D, E, X. That's our player number one. Player number one. Player number two has a number as his name, digit, which is almost number in Latin. Uh, that's play number two. Yes. So uh, we're gonna just going to generate a number between one and two. Uh, and we're going for the first number right now. Generate. Loading. Result two. Two. So dig it is up one game to G, T, D, C, D, E, X. Uh, we're going for game number two right now. And we have a one. And it's a tie <laughs> so far. And this is looking very, very... Uh, random. Random. Very random, but also very, it's, it's very interesting. No, what is it? It's, it's, the suspense is killing me. That's what I'm trying to get to here. And here comes the last game. And the result is one. So uh, 
GTDCDEX is up again, up against Digit now. Yes, uh, and we're, we're, testing, reporting it right we're now. reporting it right now. The winner. There we go. Match finished due to walkover. GTDCDEX won. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Yes, so um, that was the story about... Uh, I'm, feel, I'm feeling like uh, Arne Weisse here, uh, the Swedish Christmas presenter, where he sits in a sofa and, uh, and shows you postcards from different places. That was our postcard. Uh, postcard moment. Post, postcard moment. And, and as I said, there's no univers University Star League postcard moment without randomizing through atmospheric noise. Exactly. Not yes. a very good punchline, but... But it's a Some it's something, nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, let's go through a few uh, last random facts for the game. So I, I ask you to write down just random stuff because you were looking through the statistics for the for the yeah, first I round of first games. Most of you StarCraft fans out there uh, have uh, downloaded SC2 Gears, which is a very nice little application to uh, find all these random tidbits of information. Um, we actually have a top five list of uh, APM. Yeah. All do right. you want to hear it? Yes, I do. Top uh, five list our there. fifth most spammy player is Prop Dash. Uh, uh, of course. High Wind. Yes. B Man Duck, our home hometown <laughs> hero, is the third our most observer. clicking per yes. person. Yeah. Uh, Jaran Passion uh, is number two, but the, the extremely kind of above the competition uh, yeah. is actually. Proxy Panda. <laughs> oh, with our caster for the evening. 282 Ooh, average APM. That is a lot of uh, average APM. Yes. Uh, it, uh, did I wonder play if long he, games. No, they're quite short, they're actually. Quite short. <laughs> Mi micro intensive, yes. yes. <laughs> Living up to the name of Proxy Panda, I'm guessing, some, somewhat. <laughs> uh, fair enough. So <laughs> and of course, to, to, um, this is a league for anyone. Yes. These, these people all had above 200 in yeah. APM average. Uh, there are, of course, also some lower, lower league players um, with an APM below 100. All right. Um, the fifth uh, slowest person is Drufer. All right. Then uh, it's actually me, Soup Duck. <laughs> um, and the funny part is, guess who he got to play in his first game? If not Quantic Madde. Yeah, it, it yeah. was a bit rough. <laughs> so, his uh, first game, uh, yeah. I, man I managed to kill some roaches, and you, so oh, I, was, nice. I was happy. Yes, yeah. yes. Then she, she killed me. Yeah, fair enough. And did um, so quite convincingly. Uh, very convincingly, actually, yes. That's the only replays I've actually watched, <laughs> because I really wanted to see those. <laughs> you wanted to see me play, I understand yes, that. Yes, yes, yeah. of course, yeah. I want to see you play. Yes. Then th third slowest player is Boba Flott. Second slowest is Sleazy. And our, our slowest player so far is Loser Pistol, which sounds kind of fast, but actually <laughs> it's the... the the appearance is... Uh, yes, yes. It, it doesn't live up to his no, name. No, I, no. I think that's how he tries to defeat people, yeah. by uh, yeah. by trying to make them think that he would be laser fast, but then being actually laser slow. <laughs> <laughs> if that works. Mind together. games. Mind games. The, the um, longest games played so far oh. have been played by Clad Fisk. All right. It's, uh, I don't know what to say about that name, actually, but it's, uh, it's, it's a nice name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the shortest fish. shortest games, it's not Proxy Panda's games. Oh. Those are the second shortest. <laughs> uh, the sh shortest series was actually between Jan Ström and Boba Flott. Oh, do we have a timer on how long that was? About 10 minutes altogether. But oh. that's, that's real oh. time, so maybe um, 12 minutes in-game in, in, that's, that's two, in the two series. Oh, that's, it. that's the whole best of three. Yes, yes. <laughs> 12 <Ten>. minutes. <laughs> That's quite quick, actually. Yeah. Very, very rarely do you get. Then a he went on. Game. Jan Ström went on to play some really long macro games in his second series. So, right. so he's um, a bit Fair of enough. both, a bit yeah. of everything. Because some people have started playing the games in uh, in the second. Yes. Round. A, a few games from the second round are played already. Exactly. Because so we do actually have three people who have qualified. Yeah. Th those might deserve an extra mention, I think. Ooh. They're already qualified for round two of University Star League. Do we know which ones? Yes. Yeah, of course we you do. You want me to tell you? Yes, tell. Yes. Please tell uh, us. These three players are... <laughs> uh, it's uh, Theovide. Ooh. 
our, our show match player our from show last match, time. Terran show match player from yes. last time, and Theo White was really good, actually. I, I I have to say I was impressed. And Ominous, who's been number ranked one Grandmaster. Hello, Ominous. Uh, you still smell nice even though you're not here. No, but Ominous was impressed as well because uh, Theo White, even though he got uh, almost killed by Xula in uh, the yeah, last... Yeah, that was amazing. Yes, the last challenge <laughs> match. Xula is another one who had played uh, at our events. Also a very good player. Did a nice early timing push with a proxy robo and just barely uh, broke... He barely broke the bunkers and the line... Uh, of Theovide, but Theovide managed to somehow, with the use of cunning micro and his SCVs, turn this around so that Scylla, well, had to go back. Uh, and everyone thought that, well, it's, it's not a problem. Scylla will just take to Colossus or whatever and win. Uh, but, but then but, Theovide killed him. Yes, for some reason, while microing uh, all of his SCVs and Marines and dealing with this push that seemed impossible, in the backside of this, he was still building workers, got his 1-1 one, one upgrades, uh, was researching, finished his stim pack and his combat shields, and uh, like built a starport. four or port. five racks with add-ons. Exactly, and stack a tech to starport at the same time as holding this whole push. And uh, so when... Um, when uh, Scylla turned to take his expansion, all of a sudden he had a push with a million marines and medivacs and everything that just took him out. Mm -hmm. And that was insane. That was insane. That was a really good play. So I'm thinking Theovide is actually... Um, he's a strong he's card a strong so player. far, yes. He's going he's gonna to end up in, in the high tops of this game, of uh, this tournament, I think. Yeah. Also, one of our Diamond League players has Ooh. made it to the second round. That's nice. Uh, Nin Mr. X. Cool. Uh, so he's through. Did he, did, he, did he have to beat a, uh, a Masters League yes, player? Yes, he defeated Jan Ström. Oh, he um, did. In some really long, so, epic macro games. So he's pretty good. He yep. should probably not be in Diamond then, I'm guessing. Yeah, maybe maybe not anymore. Maybe not anymore. We'll see. Uh, VMG Shoulder has made it through. Oh, Shoulder as well. Yes. Um, the the one who Theowide played against uh, That's, yeah. at our la latest uh, show matches. He was good as well. And I can see right now, actually, this was not the case when we started the show, yep. but now Quantic Mada has played her second game oh. and has made it to the second stage. Oh, she made stage. it through. Yes. Was, nobody thought she would, really, actually. So four oh. players now, not three. Exactly. Awesome. And they will be joined by 28 others, so 32 players make it to the second round. Exactly. So there's a lot of games to stay play still. Uh, have we gone through all of our uh, weird... Um, our strange little uh, facts. I think so. Yes. I think so. Our strange statistical facts. Um, I'm again uh, going to state that you really should tune in on the 7th of December when we have our next show event. It's going to be the School of Chemistry at KTH. Uh, we're going to be at their pub localities and we have two amazing matchups. First of all, Proxy Panda with the, with the sh yeah. all second shortest games so far. And the highest APM by far throughout the tournament, who's going to meet Fubar, uh, a Zerg player who's, uh, I don't know, uh, Proxy Panda says he's somewhere uh, mid Masters, but he's beaten, who was it, Mana? Yes, <laughs> maybe we can ask him. We can, in just we can a ask few him minutes. later. I'm going to ask him in just a few <laughs> minutes. And he's going to play against Fubar, who's actually uh, in the. I think he's in the top top eight in his Masters League, something like that. So he's a very, he seems to be a very good player as well. Uh, that's going to be a nice matchup. But the other matchup as well is going to be e at, we at least equally epic. Uh, it's going to be between Prop Dash, who we saw at our first show I went, but I brought him back because it was so fun to get <laughs> our two. Uh, professionally signed players in the tournament to meet up at the best of five at a show event uh, to see if there's any chance that anyone could take on uh, Quantic Gaming's Made. Uh, and yeah. we're not sure about that yet, but we'll You'll see. You'll find out on December 7th. Exactly, so that's going to be nice. And if you feel like you want to take a shot at Made, or if you can feel like you can beat any of these other three players, then you should come there too. And you can sign up on the list for challenging these people. And then we're going to draw some random names and let people challenge uh, those players. Um, 
there's been quite a lot of challengers uh, throughout the tournament at the, the different events, but you know, there's always a chance you get to challenge them. And if you manage to win, you will get a custom made Q pad mouse pad for University Star League with our beautiful logotypes and our sexy, sexy graphics on it. It's going to be brilliantly beautiful. So you would really want to win one of those, actually. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what so I'm thinking. Keep practicing. Keep practicing and come there and smash them. Uh, I think they need that. They need they need to get smashed, you know, so that they know that uh, that they're not the people who are the. Well, they could be the top. Don't. No, never mind. Um, I'm thinking that's basically <laughs> what I have to say. <laughs> Do you have anything yeah, more to say? Yeah, I think we were there maybe <laughs> three minutes ago. Yeah, actually. I'm thinking yeah. so as well. I'm just very good at talking. So I'm going to stop for now, actually. And we're going to take a break of about, uh, oh, I'm thinking maybe 15 minutes. So that at 9 o'clock, uh, we're going to be, oh, uh, is, it, is mine before now? Is no, that's no. good. No, it's good. So 15 <laughs> minutes. Uh, we're going to take a 15 minutes break. And we're going to continue at 9 o'clock. And we're going to cast some replays, me yeah. and Proxy Panda. And you actually know which games we're going to cast. Yeah, the first one, I think, will be Mosi versus Arulo. Uh, this is from group one of our 16 groups. And uh, then we'll do uh, Joram Passion versus Jave, uh, which I think is group seven, but I'm not yes, quite sure. Yes, don't show me because I don't want to see the results. The point is I know very little about these results. I'm the lead, lead caster and we're going to be casting a lot of these games. So uh, I've let... Group nine, sorry. All right, fair enough. Yeah. So I'm, I've let all the work go to the professionals and they checked through the replays and found a few good ones that we're going yeah, to cast. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. I will be popping back, popping back in 15 minutes to cast these games, me and Proxy Panda, and uh, you can hang around if you just want to watch the splash screens with all the groups and see what's happened so far. And other than that, thank you for, well, thank you very much, Soup Duck, for taking this opportunity to talk a lot of trash with me in the sofa. Yeah, that's it. That's about it. That's yes. about it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back in 15 minutes.